welcome back to another video in today's video as you guys can see by the title we are doing a massive Ulta haul girl so I did a couple orders on Ulta a few of them have not arrived yet but that's okay I'll just haul those on Instagram it's fine um, but I do have a box of quite a few things that I wanted to show you guys in today's video and you guys seem to really like haul videos so I'm really excited for this one um, we're gonna get into it girl because I don't want this video to be too too long so before we get in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you guys would like to see all the things that I got at Ulta then just keep on watching <laughs> a holy grail item you guys I actually use it twice a week because I actually don't wash my hair that often but I cannot live without it this is the Revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer you guys I originally had the pink one right which obviously I'm telling you guys that I've used it before like it's my holy grail and the last time that I used it it just smelled like burnt and it was making like a super clicking noise and I was like my whole heart like I had to just toss it because like you know it's hazardous I didn't want to deal with it I was like it's fine I'll just order a new one um so I did of course pick up a new one ASAP girl because I refuse to live without this product um this is what it looks like right here if you guys can see and I had the pink one before I decided to pick up the blue one this time you guys if you have not tried this it is so worth the hype it's so worth the money and most of the time you can actually get this on sale it is so damn good it is probably the easiest thing I've ever tried, you guys. I just don't have the talent to hold a round brush and a blow dryer and work with them, like, cohesively at the same time. Like, it just doesn't work for me. So this has been a dream come true, honestly. It is so easy to use. The speed on here is amazing. And, I mean, girl, it's just, it's bomb. Like, I, I love it. So I did have to pick up another one of these because mine completely died. The next thing that I decided to pick up is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighting Powder. This one is in Heat Wave, and I feel like back in the days, this was like the highlighter. Like, girl, if you had this highlighter in your collection, you were it, sis. So I actually never owned this before, so I decided to pick it up. Um, here's what the packaging looks like right here. And honestly, you guys, highlighting back in the day was not like highlighting now. So I really hope I like this. But here's what it looks like right here. It's very beautiful. Like, I cannot wait to try it. Honestly, it's absolutely stunning. And the reflectiveness in the pan is beautiful. So I did decide to pick this up. The next thing that I picked up is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I always use the shade Sandstorm. And this is what it looks like right here. This is a Holy Grail product of mine. And I always, always have it in my collection. I actually use this powder every single day in my makeup routine. Well, not every day. I don't wear makeup every day. But every time I do my makeup, this is what I actually use to set the concealer that I apply on my eyelid as a base. Um, I do set it in place with this powder and it is just beautiful. I'm also wearing it as the powder on my face today to set my entire face. I actually just finished filming a full face of affordable makeup. So if you guys are interested, I will link it down below so you guys can see how I created this makeup look because girl, everything is affordable on my face today. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is the Milani Rose Butter Lip Mask. You guys know from seeing my Sephora haul that I am obsessed with lip masks. My lips are always ridiculously dry, so I'm always down to try a new lip mask. And I wanted to start trying some more affordable ones. Right now, my most favorite ones are high-end, except for one that I recently discovered from Wet n Wild. Um, but I decided to pick this one up, and the packaging is super cute, and I'm really excited to try it. So I'll keep you guys updated if this was actually worth it or not. Okay, so the next thing I got is also from Milani. This is the Milani Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. So of course, it's the same packaging, so they kind of go hand in hand you have the mask and then you have the scrub so I'm excited for this as well I typically don't like lip scrubs that come in a pot like the ones you have to actually dip your finger in and kind of scrub on your lips I just feel like I never get it on my lips like they just crumble and fall so they're not my favorite but I'm excited to try this one because it's super affordable so I figured why not the next thing I picked up is actually a newer product these are the real techniques cashmere dreams complexion sponge duo it says you can use it for a liquid foundation and a powder foundation this is what they look like right here and you guys honestly I just love to try new sponges. I feel like that's the best way to discover ones that you really love. And the original te Real Technique sponge, I hate it. Like, I will tell you that. I do not like it. I've never liked it. It is super hard. It does not grow in size. 
in my opinion when you wet it um but i've seen a lot of people say that they love this so i'm really excited to try it and i mean the colors are super cute like i'm always here for a pastel pink and a pastel purple so i decided to pick this up the next thing that i decided to get is the beauty bakery setting powder and this is what the packaging looks like right here it's like all bet obviously because it was in shipment um but i got mine in the shade translucent and let me just see if I can open it up so I can show you guys what it looks like. It's like a little flower bag. I cannot. Look how cute this is. Super cute. So here's what the actual powder looks like. This is their Better Not Bitter Flower Powder. And like I said, I got the shade Oats, which is the translucent one. And this is what it looks like right here. Um, I actually picked this up because I've seen Jacqueline Hill use it. And she said it's probably one of the best powders she's used. So honey, you know when Jacqueline Hill recommends something, you need to buy it. So I did go ahead and pick this up. The next thing I decided to pick up are the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealers. Um, these are what the concealers look like right here. And I've heard great things about these. I've heard they're super full coverage and I've never personally tried them. Um, so I got two shades. Let me see if I can see the shades for you guys. So I got 06 Vanilla and I got 07 Natural. So I'm really excited to try these as well. Actually, the concealer that I tried today, I am in love with and it's affordable. So like I said, definitely check out my video on how I created this look right here because girl, I have been on a hunt for good drugstore stuff, let me tell you. The next concealers I decided to try are also from the drugstore. These are the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealers from Catrice. And these are what these ones look like, very similar to the NYX packaging. And I got the shades Light Beige and Nude Beige. And I'm super excited to try these as well, especially for the summer when it is super hot outside. Girl, this is waterproof, so... She's going to stay all day. The next thing that I picked up is the Tarte Maracuja Mist Setting Spray. This is actually a newer product to Tarte. And guys, doesn't this look like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist? Like, girl, Tarte. You could do an aerosol can mist, which is fine. But like, girl, did you really need to put it in the same container? Like, same exact container it's insane but of course and nonetheless i'm super excited to try this um it does have maracuja in it so i'm hoping that it gives me like a nice beautiful radiant glow so i did decide to pick that up the next thing that i decided to pick up is actually something i've tried before um and i used to be in love with this foundation like this is my go-to doctor foundation i used to recommend it to everybody and their mother girl and this is the la girl pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation I remember this foundation being so beautiful on the skin and very full coverage and I didn't have it in my collection anymore because I usually go through my foundations often and kind of get rid of the ones that I haven't used in a while. So I did pick up the shade Natural and this is what it looks like right here. The next thing that I got is another um, pro coverage high definition long wear foundation but I just got the white shade. It's called white and it looks like this right here and I actually got this because if you guys watched my Sephora VIB sale haul you know that a lot of the foundations that I picked up during that haul came too dark like it's just really hard to find your shade and complexion online so I wanted to pick this one up just to see if I can kind of mix it together and get the perfect shade that way I don't have to return them if that makes sense so that's usually what you would use this for is to kind of just mix in with your foundation it'll kind of lighten it up a little bit that way you don't have to get 10 versions of the same foundation because obviously our skin tone changes from obviously winter to summer if you are somewhere where you get all the seasons the next thing that I decided to pick up is also from Catrice this is the Catrice high liquid coverage foundation this is what it looks like right here and I love this bottle it's very luxe it's a glass bottle and it has a dropper which I love and I got two shades I got this one which is ivory beige and I got hazelnut beige I didn't know which one was gonna match so I picked both up um, and these were actually on sale when I got them they were super affordable I think Catrice is leaving Ulta or like exiting Ulta um, I'm not 100% sure but they were on sale so girl I picked up this and the concealers that you guys just saw the next thing I decided to pick up is the makeup revolution bronzer this is their mega bronzer and this one is in the shade 02 warm this is what it looks like right here and this looks promising like this color is really really nice it's probably a little bit deeper than I typically would go but I think it's gonna be perfect for the summertime when I get a nice tan and Makeup Revolution is just one of those brands that they make really great quality affordable makeup um, definitely comparable to some high-end things the next thing that I picked up is from Benefit. This is their new blush in the shade Georgia. Look how pretty it is, you guys. I love the peach on the cover. Benefit always has super, super cute packaging. And of course, they always come with like that little brush, which I never use, to be honest. And this is what the blush looks like right here. So it's like a really pretty peachy blush, kind of similar to what I'm wearing today. 
and I'm always here for a peachy blush so I did decide to pick that up the next thing that I picked up is from Mac this is the Mac fix plus magic radiance spray this is what the bottle looks like I mean this is what the this is what the box looks like right here isn't that so pretty I could do this all day honestly um, but this is just their typical fix plus spray but this one's supposed to give you like a nice radiance to the skin and this is what the bottle looks like right here the next thing that I got is the essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder this is what it looks like right here I also heard really great things about this bronzing palette and you guys the shades in here are amazing even if you're like a makeup artist this is really really nice you get so many shades in here for bronzing contouring i feel like so many different skin tones can get a nice use out of this it is just so nice i'm really excited to try this actually um i heard the formula on this is amazing so i will keep you guys updated okay so the next thing that i got is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup this is just the double wear foundation can you guys believe I've never tried this foundation before? Um, I don't know. I just never thought to pick it up, to be honest with you guys. And I got the shade Ivory Beige. And on the actual Ulta app, there's like this tab where it actually like scans your face. And it tells you like the closest shade to your skin tone. Um, of course, it's probably inaccurate because depending on like the lighting that you're in, depending on like what time of the day it is, how much light is actually hitting your face so they can see the true color. And girl, I just want to say it was a fail honey can you guys see how dark this is who's wearing this not me but hopefully I can get it to work with the LA girl um, white foundation this one is in the shade ivory beige like girl this does not look like ivory at all this one is in three and one and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this work but I'm excited to try it a lot of people especially makeup artists who do like bridal work really swear by this foundation the next thing that I picked up is the Milani rose prep and bright in this is actually a face oil and this is what it looks like right here I'm actually really excited to use this I've been so into face oil lately you guys because you guys know I have more drier skin it's not super dry and flaky like I don't have any dry patches uh, but I would consider it normal to dry and this is what it looks like right here like Milani's packaging is always so luxe and beautiful for a drugstore brand and I'm super excited to try it. Okay, so the next thing that I got is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. And this is just like a tinted moisturizer. Um, during the summer, tinted moisturizer is honestly my best friend. It is too dang hot outside, girl, to be wearing a full coverage foundation. I mean, girl, if that's you, you know, do you boo. Like, go for it. But for me personally, I just feel like it is too much on my skin. Like, I really want my skin to be able to breathe, which ideally would mean not wearing any makeup at all but girl we want to look at least a little bit cute you know so of course I decided to pick up this one I got the shade Fairlight Neutral which is 13N and I've never tried a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer from Tarte before and the packaging is super cute first of all um, but my favorite one currently is it actually used to be the BB water from Smashbox if you guys are familiar with that one and currently right now it's the tinted moisturizer from NARS that one has such amazing coverage and it's just really beautiful on the skin but I'm actually really excited to to try this one um, this actually launched with the setting spray that I just showed you guys the next thing is the foundation as well this is the new benefit hello happy air stick foundation I got mine in shade number four this is what it looks like right here and you guys I actually got this because when they came out with their first hello happy foundation the one that comes in the square bottle I loved it I was all for that foundation it was like a serum consistency it was amazing for the summer it had SPF in it um, I did get mine in shade 4. I think I mentioned that already. This is what it looks like right here. Can we just talk about the packaging? Benefit has such cute packaging, you guys. And I'm always here for a stick foundation. You guys know my favorite stick foundation is the Makeup Forever one. Um, but I'm excited to give this one a go. Okay, you guys. So the next two things that I got are brand new palettes from Makeup Revolution. You guys, I actually did a makeup look using the Birds of Paradise palette that palette was so beautiful i was so shocked at the pigmentation and the quality so of course i wanted to try a couple more so on the site these two caught my eye this first one is the makeup revolution forever flawless fire palette you guys look at this packaging it is beautiful like i'm telling you makeup revolution is just one of those brands at the drugstore that are just amazing so here's what the packaging looks like it is really nice it has like a fire flame packaging and then here's what the palette looks like when you open it up it is so beautiful and this shade right here beautiful like I hope it's as pigmented as it looks because it's going to be absolutely stunning for a makeup look so definitely let me know if you guys want to see a look with this 
And then I also picked up the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Decadent Palette. And here's what this one looks like. This is a beautiful palette, you guys. It is very pretty. It has beautiful neutrals in it, beautiful pinks. It's definitely an everyday palette. Um, I can't wait to play with this, honestly. I think it is absolutely stunning. And guys, don't sleep on Makeup Revolution. They have good quality. Um, definitely one of the best brands at the drugstore. They're just amazing. Next, I decided to pick up an SPF. This is the Clinique Super Defense City Block Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And honestly, you guys, I am playing no games when it comes to SPF this year. So here's what it looks like right here. I actually have a few SPFs in my collection now. And I'm actually really excited to try this because, of course, it's Clinique. So it's always 100% allergy tested and fragrance free. So it'll be great for anyone who has sensitive Skin. So super excited for this. The next thing that I picked up is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I've actually tried this foundation before and I didn't love it the first time that I tried it, I'll be honest. Um, I think it was the primer that I used and I used more of like a silicone based primer, kind of like the Smashbox one, like the original. It was something slippery like that and I was just not feeling it so I returned it immediately. And I recently saw someone using it and I was like, wow, that looks beautiful on her skin like what so it was kind of like one of those moments where like you'll throw out something or give it away and then you see someone use it and you're like I need to buy that again because I need to try it again so that's what happened in this case so I got two shades I have F6 and F5 super excited to try this um, it's been a minute since I've tried this foundation so I'm gonna try it with a different primer and see what I think about it and then I also picked up the makeup revolution this is their foundation stick so you guys have seen this on my channel quite a few times this is probably my favorite drugstore foundation it is just beautiful on the skin it's one of the it's probably it's actually the best drugstore stick foundation um, it's amazing and I usually use mine in F6 and F5 I usually mix them together or I'll use one or the other depending on my skin tone at the moment but I was like wait a minute that formula is amazing like imagine how amazing it would be if you use it as a cream contour I know, right? Why didn't I think of that before? So I actually got the shade F13, which is a darker shade, to actually contour a little. I'm actually going to open this up because I actually want to see what the shade looks like because like I said, girl, on every website, things look so different. So here's what the shade looks like right here. It looks like it's going to be really nice actually to give me like a nice cream bronze moment. So I'm super excited to try this because like I said, this formula is amazing and it blends really, really well. The next thing that I picked up is actually another KKW Beauty Mascara. You guys see me use this all the time. I rave about it all the freaking time. And the one that I'm actually using, I've been using it for a while. So I think it's time to replace it. This mascara is unlike any mascara I have ever tried before, you guys. It is amazing and for her to be more of a prestige brand I think the price point is right so I think full price it's $18 sometimes like recently it was on sale at Ulta for $15 of course you guys know Ulta has an amazing rewards program so you can always use your Ulta points to purchase this mascara I mean you guys it's just amazing please go out and try it if you have not tried it already the formula is more of like, like a thicker formula so it's not super runny it's not gonna get everywhere and actually the product that's on the brush actually gets on your lashes so I love it and I swear by this mascara it's one of my favorites and then I also picked up the Tarte Maracuja Glossy Lip Oil, which looks like this. I actually just got this to wear throughout the day um, when my lips are feeling a little bit dry, but I want them to look a little bit glossy, and I love the color. It's like a nice pink color, but of course it's sheer because it's an oil, so I'm really excited to try this. And then I picked up two new lipsticks from e.l.f. These are their cream lipsticks. These are called the Seriously Satin Lipsticks. Here's what they look like right here, and I love the packaging. You can actually see the entire lipstick bullet. It does look kind of cheap, but guys, it's e.l.f. Like, it's e.l.f. Let's let's give them a break. So I got two shades. I actually got the shade Cream and Nectar. So the lighter one over here is Cream. This one over here is Nectar. And I'm actually really excited to try these because you guys know I'm always here for a nude. Next, I also decided to pick up two lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. This is actually from Revolution Pro, which is like an extended brand from Makeup Revolution. And I got two of their lipsticks. These are called their Satin Matte Lipsticks. I got the shade Stripped and Cashmere. Here's what the packaging looks like right here. I mean, the packaging is cute. Very, very nice. Very well thought out. So let me go ahead and open these so I can show you guys what they look like. Okay, so here's what the actual bullet looks like. It has the same packaging as the box, which is really, really cute. And this one is the shade Cashmere, 
which is actually a dark nude. It's more of like a pinky nude, which is very pretty. It actually looks like what I'm wearing today. Um, so I cannot wait to try that. I'm really excited for that. And then, of course, I picked up the shade Stripped, which I'm super excited for too. <sighs> Guys, the whole lipstick just fell out the tube. Whatever. I picked it up and just put it back in the tube. I don't want to twist it up too much, but this is what the color looks like. And this is actually my favorite color out of the two. Like, oh, I hate when something like that happens. So anyways, this right here is the shade Stripped and it is so pretty. I actually decided to swatch it really quickly to see what it looks like. You guys, oh my god, it's gorgeous. I'm still going to use it anyway. It's okay, we're going to make it work until I can get another one. Okay, and then here's the shade Cashmere right over here. So of course one is more of a pinky nude and then the other one is an actual pink, which is so pretty and it's so unfortunate that she melted somehow and completely came out of the packaging. The next thing that I picked up are the, what brand is this? This is the Coast RX Acne Pimple Master Patch. This comes with 24 patches and this is such a small packaging, uh, but this is what it looks like right here. And I actually got this because um, last month and the month before that, you guys, my skin was going bonkers when it was that time of the month. I was getting like actual acne, like pimples that were hurting which I never got before so I figured I'd have these in my collection since then I've changed up a few things in my skincare routine and I have not seen any breakouts since then so I mean this is just a backup plan because honey we can't be having no breakouts I need my skin to look smooth all the time period so I'm gonna have these in my collection just in case I get a little breakout it's kind of just a patch you just put it on there leave it for a few minutes or overnight and then um, of course you take it off and the pimple should be smaller or whatever the case is. So I picked up these. The next thing I got is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. This one is in Sweet Cherry. I actually, my favorite one is actually the coffee one or the original. I think it's called the original, but it looks brown like coffee. That one's amazing. I've tried the coconut, but like the coconut is, I don't know if it's because obviously it's coconut. Maybe it's coconut oil that's in there. It kind of like deteriorates in the lipstick tube, so I'm not here for it, but... I wanted to try this one out to see how it is. This lip exfoliator is one of my favorites. It is amazing, it's cheap, it's affordable, and it gets the job done. Um, I do not prefer, like I said with the Milani one, pot lip exfoliators. For me, they just don't get on my lips, like they crumble everywhere. So with this, I can actually exfoliate my lips without worrying about the product going everywhere but scrubbing my lips. So I love this stuff. And then the last thing that I got is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I got the shade Black. It's just a felt tip liner. And I just needed a new liner, to be honest. I only have high-end ones, so I wanted to see if I can discover a good drugstore one. Oh my god, you guys, I have one more thing I forgot about. This is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I actually seen this on the website and got it immediately because I've been dying to try this the reviews on this product is insane so they have like a travel size they don't have the full size on the Ulta website but this is what it looks like right here if you guys have not seen it before and basically what you do is on damp hair you spray it on your hair in sections and then you just blow dry your hair it's supposed to help maintain frizz it gives you shine it really kind of tames your hair um and honestly it's supposed to be really really good i haven't tried it yet it's also humidity proof and how it works like the technology of this is it's heat activated so you absolutely have to blow dry your hair after like it's not a leave-in conditioner where you can put it in your hair and then let your hair air dry so i'm excited to try this i've heard so many good things and if it's good i will definitely probably get it off amazon uh, but i did want to try a small size first even though, girl, I was not expecting it to be this tiny. This is probably going to be one blowout for me because I'm going to definitely go ham with this. Okay, guys, so that was pretty much it. That was everything that I got from Ulta. Um, it's definitely a lot of stuff, you guys. Like, honestly, at this point, I don't know where I'm storing all this makeup. To be honest with you, I need to get some more storage. But listen... It's all for YouTube, okay? It's for YouTube purposes. So that way I can try and tell you guys what's good and worth it. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if you guys want to see any of these products in action or if you guys enjoy first impressions videos. That way I can create more of them. That way we can really see all these products in action. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you got to the end. And of course, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!